Shalom Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. So I'm starting and from Captain, no, Deken Malakai. Yes, sir. Deken Malakai. What yes, is tight? What is that tight? That's the topic for today. What okay. is tight? What is tight, it about? According to the Bible, mm -hmm. when you read the first book of Levitical law, mm -hmm. when you read, uh, when you look at the Levi, out of the all the twi all the tribes of Le out of all the twelve tribes, mm -hmm. God picked one tribe that was Levi, which is the high priest. Okay. God commanded the rest of children of Israel. Mm -hmm. The Levite, they have no inheritance, by the way. Okay. The rest of the 11, they're supposed to take care of the Levite. And God called it tithe. For example, tithe wasn't supposed to be money. Tithe was never money. Okay. When you read the, through the Bible, tithe is not money. The tithe that God asked the, the, the other Israelite to take care of the Levite is uh, 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 livestock, uh, uh, vegetable, uh, uh, just, just stuff that's not, that's not actually money. Okay. I'm going to give you an example. Okay. You want to read, we're going to read something for you where, you know how the children of Israel used to worship back in Jerusalem. They used to go to Jerusalem to worship. Mm -hmm. God actually told them, mm -hmm. if they live far, they're going to go to Jerusalem to worship. Because you know they used to do sacrifice, right? Mm -hmm. okay. He actually told them, mm -hmm. if they cannot carry the livestock, to sacrifice in Jerusalem, they can sell it when they get to Jerusalem. Guess what? Mm -hmm. They cannot give that money to the Levite. They have to. We buy that livestock. Okay. That's how serious God is with this. Mm -hmm. Okay. So tie was never money. Tie okay. is something God put in place to take care of the high priest, which was the Levite. Okay. Today, these pastors in Ghana are no Levite. They're not. Okay. The so-called Haitians in Haiti, they are the job of Levite. But today, Jesus Christ is the high priest. There is no temple where we do sacrifice. So, Thai, that's what Thai is according to the Bible. Okay. And, and we got scripture, we can prove that. Okay. Mm -hmm. let's, get, let's get real quick. Let's get Numbers chapter 18 and verse 20. This right here is going to eat, it's going to end tonight's topic anyway. Right, right from the beginning, it's going to crush these pastors that are taking tithes okay. from the people, what they're calling tithes. Mm -hmm. Numbers chapter 18. Read verse 20, please. This is the book of Numbers, chapter 18 and verse 20. And the Lord spake unto Aaron, mm -hmm. Thou shalt have no inheritance in their land. So what Deacon Malachi is explaining to you, whenever, when you read in Deuteronomy, the children, I believe it's Deuteronomy, third chapter, the children of Israel were given portions of land. They were, each tribe got their portion of land. Judah, Benjamin, Ephraim, Manasseh, all 12 tribes got the portion of land except for the tribe of Levi. Levi did not get an inheritance of land. It says, read that again. And the Lord spake unto Aaron, thou shalt have no inheritance in their land. Levi would not have any inheritance of land. There was not a plot or a section that was dedicated to Levi like it was the other tribes. Read. Neither shalt thou have any part among them. Come on. I am thy part. God said, I am your part. I am your part. Read. And thine inheritance among the children of Israel. And I'm your inheritance among the children of Israel. But watch this. And behold, I have given the children of Levi all the tenth in Israel. What, is a, what does the word tithe mean? Tithe means tenth. This is why you give 10% to your pastor ignorantly today. God says, behold, I have given the children of Levi mm -hmm. all the tenth in Israel for an inheritance. Read. 
for their service which they serve. For the service which they serve. For the service which they serve. The Levites were the ones that gave attendance to the altar. They were the ones that made the sacrifice. The sons of Aaron were the high priest. The children of Levi assisted the um, the sons of Aaron in all the things that deals with sacrificing. This is why you had to give a tenth. When you understand this Bible is our constitution, our rules, how we run our our, our country, our government, t the, the, the uh, temple was like the, uh, what would you call it? The capital. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's how it was set up. Mm -hmm. So the Levites did not have an inheritance of land. So what Deacon's, what he just brought out and showed you is that why is these pastors saying that they get a tenth? God said, when we read that right back in verse 21, and behold, I have given the children of Levi all the tenth in Israel for an inheritance mm -hmm. for their service which they serve, even the service of the tabernacle of the congregation. So why are these pastors saying that they're supposed to get a tenth? They're liars. They're all liars. There's one word you could describe all these pastors here in Ghana. Okay. Greedy. You ever heard of the mm. word greedy? Greedy, yeah. You heard of greedy? What does greedy mean? Greedy, impure. Huh? You said unpure? No. Somebody who can't get enough. Okay. Somebody who cannot get enough. Get okay. me Isaiah 56 and 11 since I said the word. Greedy. God called these pastors greedy. greedy. Like Archbishop Duncan. Archbishop Duncan right here in Ghana. $6.9 million. You heard of him before? Duncan Williams. Or yes, or Duncan Duncan Williams. Williams. You know who I'm talking about, huh? Mr. Rolls Royce Phantom. $6.9 million. I don't know about you, but all throughout um, Kumasi and these different cities is poverty. Yeah. I see people, little kids walking around with no shoes on. Imagine if all these pastors came together and put 10% of their collection together to build up these cities. Because there's churches on every block. There's churches on every block in Kumasi, Ghana, um, um, Accra, wherever you go. Imagine if all these pastors who make the same amount of money like your Archbishop Duncan came together and put all of their monies together. Mm. Just 10%. Matter of fact, let's make it 5%. Imagine what it would do here in Ghana to uplift the community, but they won't. You know why? Because they are greedy, filthy dogs. Let's read that. Okay. Isaiah chapter 56 and verse 11. Yea, they are Isaiah, greedy uh, 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 the, dogs. The, the, the verse again, Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 56 okay. and verse 11. Mm -hmm. Yea, they are greedy dogs. They are greedy dogs. This is the Bible. Some of you might get offended. Why are they calling them greedy? Why are they calling them names? God is calling them greedy dogs. Mm -hmm. We're just repeating what God said. Go ahead. Which can never have enough. Which can never have enough. Six figures is not enough for them. They want to take all the money. They put burdens on the people. We're going to yeah. read that a little later, too. They put burdens on the people. Okay. It's a burden when you tell people you must pay 10%. It's a burden when you tell people we're not going to bury you unless you pay consistently 10% of your tithing. That's a burden for people. Right. The people here in Ghana are not rich. They're poor. This is poor. That's why it's called a third world country. That's right. Meanwhile, you got greedy, filthy dogs here. Getting rich off the people, read. And they are shepherds that cannot understand. They're shepherd that cannot understand the word of God. Because they're not teaching you the laws. That's the most important thing. That's why in Malachi 2 verse 7 it says, The priest's lips should keep knowledge. They shall seek the law at his mouth. For he is the messenger of God. Mm -hmm. When you're the messenger of God, you should be teaching the people the laws of God. Go ahead. They all look to their own way. You hear that? They all look to their own way. Is there more on that? Everyone for his gain. You hear that? For everyone, his quarter. Everyone for his gain for his quarter. Everyone for his gain for his quarter. Guess what? Archbishop Duncan is not alone. You got Apostle Quadro. That's what you guys call him. Are you familiar with that name? No. Apostle Quadro Safu. Quadro Safu, yes. yes. 6.5 million! Whoa! 6.5 million. Mm -hmm. Okay, then you got Reverend Francis. 6.1 million. Uh-oh. Call hey, him this out. This is a lot of money. <laughs> Bishop Charles. Bishop Charles. 5.5 million. Bishop Dag. 5 million. Wow. Imagine these guys came together, <laughs> put their monies together. But first and foremost, it's not even about the money. 
they should be teaching you that you are the children of Israel. Right, They're right. not doing that. Okay. They're worried about money, 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 money. <laughs> Grip your teeth and say money. You know, in the United States, you got a pastor up there that names himself Creflo Dollar. Mm-hmm. It's just not here in Ghana. All throughout, wherever the diaspora is, you have people set up in certain positions that are what? Exploiting our people's poverty and oppressed state. But this is what they should be doing. Lamentations 2, 14. This is what they should be doing. Write, write this down. Because the Bible says prove all things. When we're done, you can go back and read these scriptures for yourselves. Okay. Brothers and sisters of Ghana, write these scriptures down as well. Lamentations. Lamentations chapter 2 and verse 14. Mm-hmm. Thy prophets have seen vain and foolish things for thee. 10% tithe. Come on. 10% tithing. And God they, calls it a vain and foolish thing. Come on. And they have not discovered thine iniquity. They have not discovered your iniquity because they have what's called a prosperity doctrine, and that's what they focus on. They haven't told you that Christmas is not in the Bible. Don't celebrate it. They haven't told you that, guess what? If you lay with a woman, you have to stay with her. You should marry her. That's fornication if you don't. They're not telling you how the seventh-day Sabbath is on a Saturday. They're not telling you that Christ is black and you're the Israelites. Read. Thy prophets have seen vain and foolish things for thee, mm-hmm. and they have dis- not discovered thine iniquity mm-hmm. to turn away thy captivity. You see, they have not discovered your iniquity. Do you know how I discover your iniquity? I go through the Bible and I tell you what you're doing wrong, thus saith the Lord, which is going to cause you to repent. They're not doing that. Okay. That's why in the book of Ezekiel, the 22nd chapter, it tells you that the prophets should put a difference between the unclean and the clean. We read that the other day on your show. Yeah. These pastors are not doing that. All they care about is money. Read. Money. But have seen for thee false burdens. What's the false burden? Tithing. Because now you have to make sure that you put 10% of your hard-earned money aside to feed that filthy dog behind the pulpit. Or you might get, you, he, you might get kicked out of the congregation. He might not bury you when it's your time to die. That's a problem here in Ghana. Uh, That's a big problem. Live on Sika 895. And you did F and you tight at all. Now you channel one. Sorry, I hold door. And no, and I may be saying, I say. At two o'clock, I'm not tired to cry any day. And now, will you see a year numbers 18 verses 20? And the Isaiah 56 verses 11? And the Lamentation 2 verses 14? And the church, you know, I'm a young who say, the assault for another do not be any more, and they say, or more, eh, share in some manner, say, or moon to your at two. And now, or boy, yeah, apostle, a year, could you suffer can tanker? And it Duncan Williams, Dean said, young share a year, and who not dear, and then your padia would do more. So, when you know, Catherine, come with your tight. And come to me, they are born on more street in more Omuni B. Nemum, they be on a tighter hold on Omu here so Moji. Now, oh, I saw him so soon I went to a tighter for so soon. Tia, now one to answer sooner, Sabina, I'm a ton, Safrawa. Omoja se wa ntio tight e kromo hwe se o mo be si o ne nyina e ye problem sa ho do ne mmom nko mo fa nchire chire papa wo chire num e me ye hunu se tight no nya no kra ne hia ne mmom eh ade a wo ye nya me mpa bi ti se adwamanbo ene konkonsa kunsun kunsu enu bi ene se nko mo chire chire nsoro ma no mu jait pay you a tight to your say ne ye say e no ho enko mo ana ye gusu a ye die so uh the can uh captain yes sir uh, let me ask you this what does the New Testament say about tight? And what does the Old Testament say about tight? Okay. Uh, let me read Luke 21, verse 1 for you. Mm-hmm. Listen to this. Listen to this. Okay. And he looked up and saw the rich men casting their gifts into the treasury. And he saw also a certain poor widow casting in thither two mites. So Jesus Christ looked up and he the, saw two rich men. Two men that had money. What was what the verb? Luke 21 verse 1. Okay. Luke so Jesus Christ looked up. He saw two rich men put their money in. So he also looked at, he saw a little poor woman mm-hmm. put two pence. In other words, two pennies. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. Read. And he said, of a truth, I say unto you, that this poor widow hath cast in more than they all. For all these have of their abundance cast in unto the offerings of God. But she of her penury 
hath cast in all the living that she had. That's what, that's what Captain Isaac was saying earlier. Mm -hmm. These pastors, they are greedy dogs. They're greedy. Oh, they yes. never have enough. Look at all these pastors here mm -hmm. in just Ghana. Right. That's what just Ghana, by the way. Okay. That's not the whole continent of Africa. Mm -hmm. The There's second richest Ghana. pastor in the country of Africa is in Nigeria. The From second, Nigeria. You said the second what? The second richest pastor in the world <laughs> is in Nigeria. Okay. So these numbers he just mentioned to you, mm -hmm. all of them is from here in Ghana. Okay. Imagine that. Mm -hmm. Christ said, this poor woman mm -hmm. put two penny, but she give all she have. Okay. So imagine if these guys mm -hmm. take 10% or 5% of everything they have, mm -hmm. build the community where they're at. Okay. We will not see no poor kids walking around here with no shoes on. We will not see no poor kids walking around here, walking around here who cannot go to school, get an education. Mm -hmm. But guess what? They're not going to do that. Okay. Because they are greedy. Mm -hmm. They want all. They, the more you give, the more they take. The more you give, the more they take. This widow right here, mm -hmm. this woman right here, this poor woman, guess what? That's the poor woman who have two kids, cannot feed her children. She go to the pastor. I think we did that last night. Mm -hmm. She go to the pastor. She said, I'm hungry. Mm -hmm. The pastor said, let me pray for you. <laughs> but this is the same woman mm -hmm. you collecting money from every Sunday. Okay. That money you collected, it's supposed to help the congregation. It's supposed to help the member, the people in the, in the congregation. When the people cannot pay their rent, they're supposed to go to the pastor. The pastor's okay. supposed to provide that for them. Yeah. When the people cannot eat, the pastor's supposed to provide that for them. Okay. But they do not do that. Okay. They buy private jets. Mm -hmm. They're flying first class. Uh -oh. mm -hmm. All in the people back. Okay. Then they are, that's why the scripture call them greedy dogs. Okay. That's not our word. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know we upset out the pastors tonight. Mm -hmm. But hey, listen, just repent. Mm. And for those, let me tell you something, another thing. Okay. For those of you going to these churches, mm -hmm. if you stop going to these churches, all these churches doors should be closed. This pastor is taking advantage of your, your guys should stay home, do not go in these stupid churches. Okay. Because these churches, they are doing nothing but pushing white Jesus on you. When you go Sunday to the, to the church, ask the pastor what color is Jesus. Ask the pastor, can you show it? So we are about to, since we are about to celebrate Christmas, show me in the Bible where we have to celebrate Christmas. I guarantee he's not going to show it to you. You know why? Because that's in the Bible. They teach you lies, and you pay them for teaching you lies. Mm. Go ahead. Hey, get Hebrews the seventh chapter because you asked about tithing in the. What does the New Testament say about tithing? Yes. Watch this. Pastors, pay attention. Hebrews the seventh chapter. Start at verse 9. Yes, please. sir. Hebrews chapter 7 and verse 9. Read. And as I may so say, Levi also, who receiveth tithes, paid tithes in Abraham. We just read how and uh, about Levi receiving tithes. Levi received tithes because that was his inheritance from the Lord. Did, could anybody receive tithes? No. Only the children of Levi received those tithes, right? Read on. For he was yet in the loins of his father mm -hmm. when Melchizedek met him. Read. If therefore perfection were by the Levitical priesthood. If perfection were by the Levitical priesthood. Because what were tithes given for? The tithing was given so that the sacrifices could be made. So that the sacrifices could be made for the children of Israel. That's why the tithing was given. It was because of the sacrificial law. Levi didn't have an inheritance because of the sacrificial law, because they had to give attendance to the altar, right? Okay. Watch this. Read on. For under it, the people received the law. Come on. What further need was there that another priest should rise after the order of Melchizedek mm -hmm. and not be called after the order of Aaron? Read. Here's the point. For the priesthood being changed. For the priesthood what? Being changed. For the priesthood being changed. When the Levites were no longer the priests, guess what? There's no more tithing. The tenth of your crops, the tenth of your land, the tenth of all that you had, no longer went to the children of Levi. Why? Because the priesthood has been changed to Christ. There's no more tithing. They've been lying to you. Read on. For the priesthood being changed... There is made of necessity a change also of the law. A change also of the law. So do we tithe anymore? No, there's no tithing. There's no more tithing. Now what you will see is us giving alms. Real quick, give me that. What is that? Uh, Matthew 6? By alms deed. Uh, yeah, Matthew 6 and 1. Matthew, this is the book of Matthews, chapter 6 and verse 1. Brothers on. and sisters of Ghana, pay attention. Write these notes down. Matthew 6, verse 1. 
Take heed that you do not your arms before men. So arms now, that's something different. That's outside of ties. Okay. Arms is what you give. That's what's ever on your heart, you give alms. It's not just money. Okay. Alms can be anything with you helping someone. Okay. When you read, I believe, in the chapter before, it talks about if you do anything for the people, you're doing it for me, what Christ said. Mm -hmm. I, I, I was sick, and you what? You helped me. Mm -hmm. yeah. I was naked, and what? You helped me. Mm -hmm. I was in prison, and you helped me. I was in the, in the hospital. You came and visited me, right? Yeah. These are your alms deeds. The same thing with somebody needs help with their rent. Somebody needs help with their bills. The church needs to maintain. The church needs to keep the lights on and things of that nature. We give alms. Christ said, don't do your alms to be seen of men. Mm -hmm. Read. Take heed that ye do not your alms before men Read. to be seen of them. Come on. Otherwise, you have no reward. Otherwise, you have no reward because alms is between you and the most high. Yes. That's between you and God. You're doing it because you love God, so you're helping your brothers and sisters because we all try to make it to the kingdom. Okay. Read on. You have no reward of your father which is in heaven. Read. Therefore, when thou doest thine alms, do not sound a trumpet before thee, mm -hmm. as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, that they may have glory of men. Read. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. They have their reward. You see today, they want to make they want to let everybody know this is what I gave to the church. Mm -hmm. This is what I'm doing. When no, it's not about that. That's between you. It needs to be private. You shouldn't be trying to boast yourself and try to put yourself up here on this pedal stool or are you paying for good seats at the front. Some people do that too. They, they pay a lot of money so the pastor moves them up close. No, that's not how we're supposed to move. Okay. Christ was against that. Is there more? Yes, sir. Verse three. 3. But when thou doest alms, let not thy left, left hand know what thy right hand doeth. Your arms are supposed to be in secret. That's, that's what it's saying. Now let your left hand know what your right hand's doing. Okay. Nobody should know what you're doing. Nobody should know what you do. Come on. Mm. That four. thine arm, th verse four. That thine arms may be in secret, and thy father, which seeth in secret, himself shall reward thee openly. Openly, okay. openly. Notice why do churches use the word? Why do they use tithing? Because tithing makes you think it's mandatory. That it makes you now say, "Oh, I got to give a ten percent of my income. I got to give ten percent of my money." Tithing was never monetary. That's what Deacon was bringing out earlier. Did, did we read that in Deuteronomy? Not sure. We didn't get to that yet. Get Go ahead that. and get to that real quick while we while we we touching on it. All right. Because the church is telling you you got to give. They don't want nothing else. Why is it when they ask for tithes, they you can't come to them with ten percent of the corn you have. Okay. Or ten percent of uh, of of the the lettuce in your refrigerator. They don't ask for that. Okay. They specifically want ten percent of your money. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> They're liars, like the captain brought out. Okay. Greedy dogs. Well, Tithing is, was never money. Mm. This is Deuteronomy chapter 14, verse 22. Really? Thou shalt truly tithe all the increase of thy seed. Uh-huh. This was the law. God says you must tithe of all the increase of your seed. Read. That the field bringeth forth year by year. Mm -hmm. And thou shalt eat before the Lord thy God in the place which he shall choose to place his name there. Uh-huh. Where they would go to take those sacrifices to, I'm sorry, take those offerings to sacrifice. That was Jerusalem where they sacrificed. Read. The tithe of thy corn. Corn. Of thy wine. Wine. And of thine oil. Oil. And the firstlings of thy herds. It's, it's going to say money, right? It's, did it say money in there? No, sir. There was no money. It didn't say tithe of your money. It said corn, the firstling of your flocks, oil, wine, go ahead. And the firstlings of thy herds and of thy flocks. Read. That thou mayest learn to fear the Lord thy God always. Uh-huh. And if the way be too long for thee. So watch this. Right now, you're here in Ghana, right? Mm -hmm. You had some of our forefathers that traveled far, far away from Jerusalem whenever the temple was built, even at that time. Yeah. That ventured down here. They ventured up, went north, went east, went west, right? Okay. Well, guess what? If the way, let's say you're tired, you had... 55 pounds of corn. Mm -hmm. You had four goats that you needed to breed down. Could you carry that to Jerusalem and you stay 500 miles away? No. No, you couldn't. No. So watch this. It says, if the way be too far for thee to travel with all of the, all of your tithes, read. So that thou art not able to carry it. Uh -huh. Or if the place be too far from thee, which the Lord thy God shall choose read. to set his name there. Come on. When the Lord thy God hath blessed thee, 
Then shalt thou turn it into money. Now what you do is you sell those that 55 pounds of corn and those four goats that you got. You sell them, and then you get money, read, and bind up. So here's the, here's the money in my hand, right? I sold my goats. I sold my corn. I've got the money, right? Mm -hmm. And read. bind up the money in thine hand, mm -hmm. and shall go unto the place which the Lord thy God shall choose. Now I can carry this. This is nothing to carry. I carry this money that I sold my, my goats and my corn for. Go ahead. And that, verse 26. And thou shalt bestow that money for whatsoever thy soul lusteth after. When I get to Jerusalem, I take that money, and what do I do? I go buy 55 pounds of corn, and I buy four goats. Why? Because that's my tithe. I couldn't carry them to Jerusalem. So I sold them in my land, got to Jerusalem, and I bought my tithe there. Read on. And thou shalt bestow that money for whatsoever thy soul lusteth after. Uh -huh. For oxen. Uh -huh. oxen. Or for sheep. For sheep. Or for wine. It's going to say give it to the pastor in a minute, right? Give the money to the pastor. Did it say that? No, sir. You never gave the money to the pastor. Mm. They, can't, they can't sacrifice your money. The money was never a sacrifice. We've been lied to. We have been utterly lied to so that they could get dishonest gain. They're all greedy dogs. It's business. Church is business now. What club was that at? <laughs> that was admit that uh, a lot of people don't even realize they I've called her. She hasn't responded. I've called her more than a few times. But the Zulu nation, I'm like, what the hell is this? I know nobody know what I'm talking about. You're leaving me on the island by myself. I don't know what the hell Bishop's talking about. Mm -hmm. That's what y'all do. <laughs> then after class, yeah, I know what you're talking about. I just don't want to be caught out there. The hell is this? Get on my damn nerves. So read that again. Hey, hey, hey read that shit. <laughs> yes, they should. They should read it. Tobit this chapter four. Said, men that swim do not eat. That's what the Bible said. You want to read it? Okay. Tobit chapter four and verse seven. Get that scripture for me uh, right quick on Deacon. Give. Give. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Mm -hmm. Deacon, see if you can find the scripture for me. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Tobit 4 verse 8 Tobit chapter 4 and verse 8 mm -hmm. If thou hast abundance If you have abundance mm -hmm. Because there is some people in, man of, uh, in the midst of us Who got a lot of money mm -hmm. If you have a lot read. If thou hast abundance Give alms accordingly He said give alms He didn't say give 10% of your paycheck That's not what he said He said give alms And that's voluntary He's going to say that read. Okay. If thou have but a little be not afraid to give according to that little. There is no place in this, in this verse is said to give 10%. That's not in there. Okay. He says, if you got a lot, mm -hmm. give accordingly. But if you have little, if you poor, if you give two penny, one, one, uh, what's it called over there, CD? CDs. If CD. you have one CD, mm -hmm. yes, give it. There is no place he said to give 10% of that. To okay. give 10% of all your money. That's not in the Bible. It's called arm. Um, it's called, it's voluntarily. Okay. If you want to help. Mm -hmm. And that money, the pastor should not put, take that money, put but it in his pocket. It's no compulsory. No. That okay. money is supposed to pay for the church. Okay. Pay the bills. Mm -hmm. If a member of the congregation need help, that's the money. You used to help them. Because okay. that, the, the, Christ said, the poor always going to be with us. Okay. What does that mean? We have to help each other. Some gonna have a lot, some gonna have little, some's not gonna have it all. Okay. Those who have some, help those who don't have none. Mm -hmm. But what does this pastor do? They pocket all the money, they're hungry dogs. They never stop. Go to go to Acts. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. continue. Acts 4. This is the book of Acts, chapter 4, verse 34. Now, uh, now this is after Christ mm -hmm. died, right? Okay. Now, remember, after Christ died, Christ left 12 apostles. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna show what the apostles did. Okay. Because Christ was never about tie. Christ was never about taking the people money. Okay. The apostles that follow Christ was never because they all have jobs. Okay. L listen to what they did. Acts chapter four verse thirty four. Neither was there any among them that lacked. There was nobody among the apostles that lacked. In other words, none of them. Everybody has something. Okay. That's why he said that's lack. Like mean everybody has something. None of them none of them was saying that I don't have no food to eat, I don't have no clothes in my back. Read. For as many as were possessors of lands or houses sold them. There was a lot of brothers and sisters who got extra that doesn't mean they sell everything. That's what that means. They have extra land. They have extra houses. Today you got a pastor who live in five ten million dollar houses. But it's only him and his wife and one kid. 
Why do you need a $10 million house? I have no idea. Why do you need 40 acres of land? I have no idea. But guess what? At that time, in this chapter right in the book of Acts, those were the real men of the Lord. Okay. Read. For as many as were possessors of lands or houses sold them. What did they do? Sold them. What did they do? Sold them. They sold them. They extra that they sold them. What did they do with the money? And brought the prices of the things that were sold and laid them down at the apostles' feet. You hear what they said? The brothers and sisters sold the extra they have because mm -hmm. they wanted to help their brothers and their sisters. They take the money, they bring it to, to, to the apostles' feet. What the apostles do with the money? And distribution. You see what the apostles, you see what the, you see what the apostles did? The women of God take the money, they distribute it to what? And distribution was made unto every man according as he had need. Is your pastor doing that? No. No. <laughs> no. He said distribution was made. They distribute to the poor. Some single, mo single mother's widow who cannot pay their rent, who cannot feed their children. The apostles know their job is to feed them. Their job is to take care of them. That's what the, that's what the pastors, mm -hmm. that's what the pastors don't do today. We know what the pastors do today. They have something called a food bank. <laughs> wow. That's what they, that's what they take. Okay. They have a food bank where they say, "Oh, come get some vegetable. Come get no, 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 no. Whatever money you collected, uh -huh. the money is that's for your pocket. The money is for the congregation, for the members. Because one day that same member will give you the money, money every Sunday." One day that same member is not going to pay able to, pay, to pay their bills. He's not going to be able to eat. They're not going to feed their children. Your job as a leader is to help them. Not to tell them, I'm going to pray for you. Go home, I'll pray for you. Jesus is going to open a door. Oh, no man can close. Oh, oh Jesus is going to bless. No. That's not, that's not in the Bible. Okay. All right. And then you're coming ahead. Now, will you see what Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay. This is real quick. Second Thessalonians chapter three. Second. Second Thessalonians. Okay. Chapter three and okay. verse ten. When we read this, I want you to think if this is your pastor. Mm -hmm. First, uh, Second Thessalonians chapter three, verse ten. Mm -hmm. For even when we were with you, this we commanded you that if any would not work, neither should they eat. That's what the Bible said. <laughs> if you don't work, you should not be able to eat. Okay. A man get up in the morning, go to work like everybody else. He don't depend on people to feed him. Mm -hmm. That's what the pastor doing. They depend because everybody just mentioned in that list: five million, six million, ten million, seven million. They don't work for that money. Right. What do they do for that money? They don't work for that money. They rob the people. That's okay. what they do. And you allow them to rob you and teach you lie. Mm. They robbed the people. That's what they did. But the Bible says you should not have done that. And guess what? God is going to judge these pastors. If I were you, I'd run for the border. Don't even look back. Run away from this uh, wicked ass church. Run away from this church. Because this church is not of the Lord. That's right. Okay. Run away. There is a question here. Can a person be paying tight and still suffering financially? Yeah, yes, come on. That's a give rhetorical me, question. Give me Proverbs. <laughs> give me Proverbs chapter 1. Proverbs chapter 1. Read verse 22, please. This, because, this is the uh, answer you hear some pastors are saying, uh, you, you'll be blessed when you're paying tight. Uh -huh. And so we'll be paying tight and still suffering. Let me show you why, why people think that. Give me Proverbs chapter Proverbs 1. Proverbs chapter 1 verse 22. Read. How long, ye simple ones? How long, ye simple ones? You know what it means to be simple? It means stupid. Okay. How long, you stupid people, read. <laughs> Will you love simplicity? Will you love simplicity? The pastor's hustling you. He told you if you give me 10%, you're going to be blessed. He told you if you give me 10% of your money, if you sow a seed, a blessing's going to come your way. Okay. You're going to open the mail, and there's going to be a check for 150,000 CDs. Mm -hmm. But you don't got any shoes on. No shoes, you're barefoot. Mm -hmm. Your pinky toes hanging out of your shoe. Mm -hmm. What is, read that again. How long, how long, ye simple ones, 
But you love simplicity. But you love simplicity. Mm -hmm. The scripture also says, the simple believeth every word. But a prudent man looketh well to his goings. Okay. You gotta stop getting hustled. Let's 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 answer the real question at hand. Why are you allowing them to lie to you? Give me Second Timothy chapter four. This is why. This is why everyone is is running to these churches, running to these pastors that are deceiving you. Second Timothy chapter four and verse. Start at verse three, please. Verse Listen three. to the prophecy Paul gave to Timothy. Come on. For the time will come. Now watch this. The Bible says the time is going to come. You might have missed the scripture. We're in 2 Timothy mm -hmm. chapter 4 and verse 3. It says the time is going to come, read, when they will not endure sound doctrine. The people, the people, there's people listening right now. We can tell by the comments and the callers. There's people that will hear what we're saying. They'll hear the scriptures be, being read, but they'll stop their ears. Okay. Mm -hmm. They'll stop their ears and just say, well, tell me what you think, or this is what I feel. When we already read the proof, we are substantiated through the word of God. So what we're saying is truth. Okay. It says the time's going to come when people are going to want to hear that. Mm -hmm. They're not going to be able to endure this Bible, the truth. Come on. But after their own lust. But after their own lust, read. Shall they heap to themselves teachers. They're going to go out and find themselves teachers. They're going to, after their own lust. So watch this. Mm -hmm. You have the homosexual man that's going to go out and try to find them a pastor that's going to say homosexuality is okay. You're going to, you got the whoremonger man who sleeps from woman to woman to woman to woman who's going to go out and find themselves an elder that says it's okay. Mm -hmm. You got the man that says, I want to eat whatever I want, bush meat. Oysters, crabs, shrimp, lobster. He's going to find a pastor that's going to say, hey, it's okay. Acts 10. They're heaping to themselves <laughs> teachers. Okay. Read. Yes. After their own lust, uh -huh. shall they heap to themselves teachers he having itching ears. Having itching ears, meaning what? Yes, pastor. Mm -hmm. Tell me tell me, my sin is okay. Mm -hmm. Tell me it's okay for me to sin. Here, take my money. Take my money. Here's my tenth. Mm -hmm. Here's my tithe. Tell me it's okay that I could continue breaking God's laws. Tell me that Jesus loves me just the way that I am. They have done this because they don't want to keep the commandments. Mm. Well, guess what? Judgment is coming for all those that hear this word and decide to do different. Is there more? No, nope, that was it. All right, that's it on that. Now, th th that was the seducing spirit that okay. he's making reference to that these pastors have. Mm -hmm. It's seductive to our people, and what they do is mm -hmm. they prey on the ignorance mm -hmm. of our people. Mm -hmm. they, they prey of the, the, the ignorance, because our brothers and sisters were not raising the Lord. Okay. They don't know how to um, read the Bible precept upon precept to get the understanding, mm -hmm. and that's what the deacons are doing right now. They're explaining to you what tithing is precept upon precept. Notice all the chapters and all the books that we've gone through to give you the, the true understanding. But you know what these pastors do? Mm -hmm. They misinterpret scriptures okay. because they prey on the ignorance of the people. You know what's one, one of their favorite scriptures to go to? Mm -hmm. Malachi 3 verse 6. Uh -oh. That's it. Now we're going to give you the complete understanding. Somebody get me Malachi 3 okay. verse 6. Yep. And, yeah. We're going to explain it to you. Yeah. This is the favorite scripture mm -hmm. all throughout Ghana. Mm -hmm. Malachi chapter 3 verse 6. Mm -hmm. Malachi chapter 3 verse 8. Uh-huh. Will a man rob God? No, no, no. You, you're saying it wrong. You got to say it like the way they say it in the church. Yes, sir. Say it the way they say it in the church. Will a man rob God? Yes. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, you have robbed me. Uh-huh. But you say, uh -huh. wherein have we robbed thee? Uh-huh. In tithes and in offerings. And then they'll go, bring up your money, 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 money. Uh. Rip your teeth three times and say money. Uh -huh. Money. You robbed me. You're robbing God. <laughs> Let's give you the full explanation. Why okay. did God say, will a man rob God? Mm -hmm. Yet ye have robbed me, but ye say, wherein we have robbed thee? Mm -hmm. In tithes and offering. Let's get Nehemiah 13, verse 10. Okay. Nehemiah 13 and verse 10 to give you the explanation. Remember what Deacon Abiel and Deacon Malachi said earlier. The tithing mm -hmm. was for who? Let's see if you were paying attention. Who was the tithing for? What tribe? What people? Oh, man. You was in this. It was for the Levites. It was for the Levites. It was for the Levites. 
Yes. So when God says, will you have robbed me? We're going to explain it. Nehemiah 13, verse 10. Go ahead. Nehemiah chapter 13 and verse 10. Mm -hmm. And I perceive that the portions of the Levites. I perceive that the portions of the Levites. Mm -hmm. okay. That was the tithing. Go ahead. Had not been given them. Have not been given them because you had Israelites. They weren't following that law. Mm. They were being selfish and they weren't giving them the tithing that God said to do. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. For the Levites and the singers that did the work were fled everyone to his field. That's why God says the tribe of Levi, what is the, what is the meaning of that word? It means joined unto me. The Levites was joined unto God. The high priest did the office in the, um, in the temple. So God said since they didn't have inheritance amongst the other tribes, the other tribes had to take care of them. They had to give them tithes and offerings and so forth. Okay. It came to a point where they weren't doing that. Mm -hmm. So what were they doing? They were robbing God. And God said, how are you robbing me? In tithes and offering. Is there more? Read on. Then contended I with the rulers and said, mm -hmm. why is the house of God forsaken? Why is the house of God forsaken? Because they were holding back on the tithes and offering for Levi. Go ahead. And I gathered them together and set them in their place. And I gathered together and set them in their place. So this very day, mm -hmm. you got the proper understanding of Malachi chapter 3 verse 8. So if you go back to church this Sunday. Right. And you empty out your poor pockets and give all that you have to your pastor, you are a fool. Just like Proverbs chapter 1 verse 22 said, how long, you simple ones, will you love simplicity? Hey, right. Deacon, right. hey, hey, Cap, Captain Isaac, you know. Let me announce the phone, yeah, Isaac. Go ahead. 0506-895-895. And I say 050. Two five two four thousand and then young come on or yeah, cause I fight tight to home. Now the quotations be bray, I'm a young uh quite fast with your tight. And uh tight to ya you tria dear now soft and so my dear and uh software so yeah juma or yeah juma so I just say yes you know my bre it be announced so a question or person will be so more a be a woman at home or bet me a friend yeah dim come or be an attack to you I drink a cra uh quite fast with you out tight quite a software fast with church a tight you know a true I drink a cra also person will be sent some if a tight to home with you are no one yeah be a woman at home or bet me a friend and no one bonk more zero five zero six eight nine five eight nine five and that's a zero five zero Two five two four thousand and that number no bit in your friend here no one bon come on uh, do you want to add no i was gonna add mm -hmm. to what isaac said okay captain isaac said mm -hmm. we've been through we've been in kamasi what two weeks now mm -hmm. i saw a lot i meet a lot of people i saw a lot of poor people i'm going to give you an example mm -hmm. uh in the street you got people selling water you got people selling chips you got people selling uh 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 uh, uh coconuts mm -hmm. those are poor people Yes, sir. Absolutely. Those are the same people on Sunday. Mm -hmm. The pastor want them to give them 10%. Mm -hmm. Listen, this pastor should be prosecuted and thrown in jail. Mm -hmm. I'm serious. The government of Ghana should throw these pastors in jail. That's right. For robbing the people. Really? That's some evil, evil, evil stuff, man. Mm. These people, they <laughs> try. Listen, somebody's selling a little chip for one city. You know how many cities got to sell to take care of his kids? But he, he's the pastor. The pastor says, oh, you got to give me 10% out of that. Oh. What scripture in the Bible is that that's in the Bible? <laughs> you you robbing them. Not, not only you killing the people, man. And then you're not even teaching them the right thing. He's robbing God. You, yes. <laughs> yes. He thinks he's robbing the people, but he's actually robbing God. God is actually going to bring judgment against these pastors. That's right. Uh, young young
0242-524-4000. Any numbers will be to me afre. Now, so about you, my dear, so not yet to me a bon como. Come up, I be a nice and be say, boo, honor more. Will be to me afre. Is there any punishment if someone decide not to pay tight? Is there what? <laughs> decide not to pay tight. That's a Man. good thing. No, he said, is there any punishment, any punishment if someone... Punishment from, from the pastor? No, for someone who decide not to pay Is there tithe. punishment from, from God? God? Yes. Well, what, what did we do? We just showed you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. We just showed you there's no more tithing. Tithing is not what you... If you're paying tithes, you're being bamboozled right now. Run, okay. run, run. Mm. Let me ask you something. What, <laughs> what commandment? What commandment is the pastors breaking with this whole tithing situation and robbing the people? What 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 commandment are they breaking? Commandment. Do you know the Ten Commandments? No, I know. I the know. Bible says, "Thou shalt not what." Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not kill. No, that's not that's not adultery. The tithing. Where does the tithing fall into that? Unless you tell when you take in poor money, when you're telling them you got to give me 10%, you know they're poor. Okay. What is that going into? Mm -hmm. Thou shalt not covet. Okay. Thou shalt not covet. That's a commandment that they're breaking. Okay. Thou shalt not covet. You ever heard of that before? Yes. Thou shalt not covet. That's what they're doing. You have that? Yes, sir. Go ahead. Let's read it. Sorry. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 17. Mm -hmm. thou, shalt not, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife, mm -hmm. nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is thy neighbor's. When you got, when you banking six point nine million dollars in a poor country like this, five million plus in a country like this, off the congregants, that's covetousness. You can only sleep in one room at night. You don't need a twenty bedroom mansion. No. Right. <laughs> okay, you can only drive one car at a time. You don't need a Rolls Royce Phantom no. right here. You hit a pothole and it's messed up. Mm -hmm. You don't need a three, four hundred thousand dollar car. No. The Bible says, "Thou shalt not covet." That is a law that they're breaking. I got another one. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Exodus chapter twenty and verse fifteen: "Thou shalt not steal." Thou shalt. That's stealing. <laughs> Believe you me, that's stealing. Yeah, they're not. They're not running in your pockets and saying, "Run your pockets." <laughs> but the words, the seducing spirits, and the doctrine and devils is causing you out of ignorance to empty out your pockets for the pastor. That's Thou true. shall not steal. Yep, now, know. guess what? These pastors, if they're of Israelite descent, more than likely they are, the brothers and sisters here in Ghana, you are the Israelites, they can repent. Right. They can repent. They're supposed to seek the laws of God. They're supposed to repent from all these iniquities that they're doing. Psalms 119, verse 36. Last one for me. Psalms 119, verse 36. They can repent out of this covetousness that they're in. Psalms chapter 119 and verse 36. Mm -hmm. Incline my heart unto thy testimony. God says to incline our hearts unto his testimonies. His testimonies is the law of God, the words of God. The words of God says, thou shalt not covet. Read on. Mm -hmm. And not to covetousness. And not to covetousness. Okay. Stop being covetous, you pastors here in Ghana. Stop robbing money from the people. God says to incline our hearts to his testimonies, not covetousness. Mm. Okay. Uh, before sir, we na osuru himo mo na na sir, iradi be juwa tumo na kuma mo no. Sir, we jia a year sa kwa na mo faso e bokro no no. Na this time dia obe ho kwa no kwa mo faso e jisi ke free a year in ceremony bi ho no mo no. Aye sir, faso bi na oke kan sin bi sin e be ya ubi tuya tight no. Na ni na e ya bonet na o chere ma yungu se the ten commandments. Mra se mu do no. Ma yungu se me mo ni mbre ubi eja padi. Me mo ni mbre ubi ere. Me mo ni mbre e ye ubi bi bi a. Na di na be ba se sofu be ma ni abre ubi sika. Na se ubi eja padi bi na uyusu. I want you to read Malachi 3 verses 8 up to 10. Malachi 3 verses 8 up to 10. I'm going right to bang my head into the wall. You, you we just read right that. Now. Up to 10. I want up the whole to 10. Verse. Okay. Oh. All right. <laughs> Let me read it. I'll read it for you, D. <laughs> up to 10. Malachi <laughs> chapter 3, 8 to 10. Mm -hmm. Will a man rob God? Yet ye have robbed me. Okay. But ye say, wherein have we robbed thee? In tithes and offerings. Ye are cursed with a curse, for ye have robbed me, even this whole nation. Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, 
that there may be meat in mine house. Mm -hmm. And prove me now herewith, say... Right, mm -hmm. The reason he said bring me meat to my storehouse is talking about the Levite. Mm -hmm. The Levite is the one who used to take care of his storehouse. It's, it's not talking about 10%. Mm -hmm. And he's going to keep on reading. Oh, hold on. And this is where reading is fundamental. Fundamental. <laughs> if I bring you money, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Money. And you fill up something with what? Money. Is that meat in your storehouse? No. Mm -hmm. The tithing is what? Meat, offerings, corn, the goods, the crops of your land. This ain't talking about money. We have to re read it again. I don't know if he sees it, bro. <laughs> Bring you all the tithes into the storehouse uh -huh. that there may be meat. Money. Meat. Cash. Meat. Coins. Meat. Gold. Meat. 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 It was never money. Okay. These are fundamentals that your pastor and you yourself have overlooked. Mm. You've never been taught the Bible correctly. So what, what's happening, the pastors are stealing. Matter of fact, another law they're breaking is taking the Lord's name in vain. Yep. Because they're going to tell you, God said, bring me the money so I can put it in the storehouse. Mm. That is not of God. They're lying on the Lord. Mm. Okay. Uh, we have barely four minutes to wrap up on the show. Uh, we are pressed for time. Uh, Israel united in Christ, and that you know more a din common, and then they are common. I had deadline, no so a Jamaica cra. I didn't know you into me fast for no. Who person or no or more a bomb common number? No, a zero two zero seven four four two three one six, and that's zero five four zero eight five nine two five five zero five four zero. Eight five nine two five five. Any number. No, Samson will be to me. I'll visit you. Omo. I will hear www dot Israel United dot org. And as a Facebook, Israel United in Christ Ghana. Will be to me. I'll visit you. Omo. No, no. Omo. Bon. Omo. Omo. Some. Oh, come on. Cultural Center. I want to know. Omo. Some. And then see. I'll be there. Now, person. No, Missy. I'm a number. We. Ofra. Omo. No. Be to me. I'm Omo. No. Omo. So. Be to me. Abo. Papa. Papa. Ye. We have three minutes to end up the show. Let's, so, let's read something real quick. Going to take one, one minute. Sirach, up on the show. Give me Sirach chapter 12. For though all of you all that are giving your money away, that is passing your cash to the lion pastor, let's read the Bible. Mm -hmm. Sirach chapter 12, okay. read verse 4. This is the book of Sirach chapter 12 and verse 4. Give to the godly man mm -hmm. and help not a sinner. Do what? Give to the godly man. Give to the godly man and do not help sinners stop giving your lying pastor that money he's a sinner he's lying he okay. is not of the lord read mm -hmm. do well unto him that is lowly do well unto him that is lowly that man who is righteous who keeps god's laws but needs help okay. do well unto him you can give him food you can help clothe him you can give him money if he needs money those are your arms before the lord read but give not to the ungodly. Do not give nothing to the ungodly. Don't give anything to the ungodly. Those that don't fear God and don't keep his commandments. Read on. Okay. Hold back thy bread. Hold back thy bread. Come on. And give it not unto him. And don't give it unto him. Read. Lest he overmaster thee thereby. Uh -huh. For else thou shalt receive twice as much evil for all the good thou shalt have done unto him. Because there's some people who are being punished by God. So guess what? They got to go through what they go through. They got to catch that punishment. And if you help them, God might punish you too. Don't give to the ungodly. Okay. Okay. Uh, and come on, I said, no, so far, so far, oh, yeah, Zano, oh, oh, man, tighter, when you're a crabby chowka, why a bunny when you're meaning, name, she will be all your righteous, or your papa, or tinny ninny, nay, and I do it, and pay tight, and money, pacono, more than sir, or the bacomo, so far, one casa, and you say, and neutral number, be as a sick, 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 and no, na. Yam Fancomo, my bonnet, a sound so de Mayen, and into Yamwa, a yam for no more any beer, nay, I see a dear sicker, a comma software, trophona, almost sound so dad and decoti quibes with G and Sicano, and only young common, a brand of sauce, say a sorry to my dear, so we are almost done, because we need to pray and help the show. Dicky Malachi, I can imagine us in prayers. All right, Ebony Father. The God of our father, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Father God, we thank you again for another opportunity to bring forth thy word. 
We pray, Father God, that you may open an ear tonight that they may repent. As they listen to your word, Father God, that your word might touch them, Father God. That they may wake up and know that, Father God, that they have to come out of these churches. Our people here in Ghana, Father God, been destroyed by these lying pastors. We pray, Father God. We also know, Father God, these pastors, they're also Israelite who can repent to your son Jesus Christ. We also pray, Father God, that you may touch some of these pastors, that they may repent, they may come to the knowledge of the truth, that keeping the law in the name of your son Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord. We pray. Amen. 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 You are the Israelites. Amen. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.